welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Well, I hope you've had a good couple of weeks in the market, but I'm pretty sure you haven't. <laughs> if you're like everybody else, uh, the markets continue to go down. The interest rates were raised again this past week, and uh, the, uh, the Fed seems very hawkish as far as the path forward. So that's showing up in the market as far as the, uh, the direction it's heading. Um, so we're, we are in a bear market, no doubt about it. We're headed down. And uh, so what can you do in something like that in the case of that? But uh, about all you can do is either a uh, couple of things, hang on to your cash, or you can put some of that cash to work as we, as we drop. Because uh, you never know where the bottom is. And, uh, and so uh, we're testing some levels here that uh, we've been testing before. Hopefully these levels hold up here pretty soon and we can uh, get some kind of bounce before the year's over with. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the election will do that, but uh, uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get some kind of spark before the end of the year. But uh, I would say the risk is definitely up from here, uh, more so than down. Uh, not to say that we're not still going to go down some, but I feel like we're getting close to the bottom uh, for sure. And did a, make a couple little or a move Friday to uh, to try to get some money going back into the market as it's going down. So uh, not that I've got a whole lot of cash that I want to do that with right now. Uh, so because I'm retired, I have to hang on to that cash uh, to get through these bad markets like this. So we're going to go take a look at the portfolio and the markets and kind of talk about it a little bit further. Here you can see everything's red. Uh, everything is red. Uh, no way, there's nowhere to hide right now, especially uh, in this market. Uh, uh, you can see here that everything was red Friday. The S and P, the Dow, the Nasdaq. Most of my stuff is is uh, tracking the Nasdaq. So let's just take a look at the Nasdaq chart for just a second. So that was the one day. Let's take a look at the five-day chart on the NASDAQ there. Uh, you can see that there. Uh, it went from about 11.4. Well, now we're down to, uh, let's see, we're at the 10.87. If we go back, back this up, uh, let's go back six months. You can see here this level we're at now, way down here, this level... I can get my dot there. You can see that's the level we've hit before. I actually went a little bit below that uh, a while back, maybe three months ago. Let's see, when was that? That was sometime uh, around 1st of June, and then we had that little summer rally, and then we kind of went down from there. But we've been here before, and hopefully this holds. If you go back for a year, uh, that is the low. And so we want to we want to hold that 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, about where we're at, right there. Uh, if we get below that, we could be putting in some new lows, and uh, we don't want to do that uh, for sure. So that's kind of where we're at as far as the whole thing goes. Let me go back to uh, our portfolio. And here's what I did Friday. I started buying QQQ, which is a, it kind of mimics the, that NASDAQ. And so we, we started nibbling with that. We're just going to add a little bit uh, of that QQQ every Friday from here on, probably just a little bit. We're just doing a little bit, just kind of putting a little bit of money in work. Uh, Novavax we do not have anymore. Uh, and we we sold out at 43. It was uh, That's probably one of the better moves we've made this year, of selling out. <laughs> uh, so that was good, uh, though, though it did cost us uh, this year pretty bad. And so um, it still got us this year, but it's been a good one over the years. So, and I'm going to take a look and see where we're at over the four or five years with Novavax. But it did take a lot of that back this year. And uh, unfortunately, the management did not uh, keep their promise of making $4.2 billion or so and cut it to $2.2. .2, and it wouldn't surprise me that that didn't get cut again uh, when the next earnings call comes because uh, COVID, uh, COVID is over, uh, pretty much. And, you know, you still hear people getting it, but it's nothing worse than a cold or a flu uh, that I've 
with the friends I know. Now, there's there's exceptions to that. I'm sure that people do still, you know, have a have a hard time with it. But um, Amazon, you can see even Amazon, Google, Google, and Tesla are all getting beat up here lately. Uh, those were some stocks that I started investing in a while back. Just to, you know, some good solid names, but uh, even those have gotten hit pretty hard. Let's take a look at the five day on this Tesla. Uh, you can see there we went from up here in the 300s, uh, 313 all the way down to 275. That's a pretty good little drop in just a matter of five days. Uh, taking a look at the one month chart, you can see the drop off here. Quite a drop. Getting back down. Let's see where that six month level was. Okay, so we're no nowhere near where we were on the six month drop. Okay, a six month period back in that same time of the that the uh, Nasdaq was down way down low. So we we can still have a good ways to go on that on uh, Tesla if it keeps falling. Uh, we don't want that for sure. So we'll all you can do now. I mean, once you put your money to work. I mean, in a good name like Tesla, you know, you could sell and take the loss, but uh, they'll be back. And I don't have any doubts about Amazon, Google, and Tesla uh, once this market turns. Because anytime we have a the green, good green day, you'll see that uh, where they where they do, uh, you know, they they do go green. And so we got the right stuff there. And this GBD, GBTC, ETH, they're all taking hits as well. That's all Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, here's your Bitcoin up a little bit today. But these have all been taking pretty good hits too. HUT. HUT has really gotten slammed lately. That's a Bitcoin miner. Let's take a look at that one. But uh, again, Bitcoin is following the markets and dropping off just like the market. Let's take a look at this five-day chart. I mean, it's one-month chart on that. See, we did have a little, good little run there, and it just fell off from there. So, we are below. Uh, let's go. Let's go to a six-month. Let's see where we're at on a six-month. Okay, so we're about the same levels. So it's falling on Nasdaq too, as far as getting down to the lows that were previous. And so, uh, it all is the market right now. Everything's the market. And so we won't even bother to look at the other ones, but everything is the market. I mean, it's no matter what stock you're holding, you're probably down on it. Um, your portfolios are down, um, but that's just the way it goes when you have these markets like this, these bear markets. There's nowhere to hide. Now you can, you know, you could put your money in some other things like uh, utilities, things like that. A lot of times. The oil is the only thing that's really been a good place to be, one of the places to be, uh, those oil stocks. But even oil, the price of oil is falling back down. Uh, I think it's below 80 now. Uh, so uh, it's just a bad time. It's a bad time. The inflation's bad. The, uh, just the world economy's bad. I mean, we're, we've actually got it better than most countries right now. So. We just got to hang in there, ride this out. Hopefully we'll see that turn. Uh, if the November elections go to the Republicans, that, I think that will help. Uh, and um, because I think that will control some spending, hopefully. And uh, But we'll see. I mean, we just got to get through this. Uh, some things are coming down. Like I said, oil's coming down. Hadn't seen a whole lot of difference in my groceries or anything like that. Uh, that probably has a lot to do with the price of diesel. It doesn't seem to be going down as much as the price of gas. And that could be all, you know, political stuff that's happening prior to an election. So uh, hopefully that that gas didn't go back up after the election. And hopefully this is some permanent stuff that we're seeing here. But uh, we got to keep this inflation moving in the right direction. So far it hasn't done that. And we keep getting these CPI numbers that are, uh, that last one we got was even a big disappointment. We thought maybe things would be going down, and they were instead they were still going up. And so, uh, even with the price of gas going down, so we got to see that CPI start heading in the right direction. Uh, we got to see prices to start to drop and things like that. And uh, but the Fed's going to keep doing what it's doing. It's going to keep what it's doing what it's doing. What's 
what's hurting the equity markets too is the the uh, strength of the dollar is actually hurting our equity. So uh, watch that price of the dollar. It's up at uh, I think 118 or something like that. That's uh, uh, anytime you see that go spiking up like that, you'll see the markets go down. So as the as the dollar weakens, you'll see equities uh, do better because you know people won't will take their money out of the dollar and put it towards the equities. So watch that, see if that starts to happen. Uh, that would be a good sign that things might be turning once that dollar starts to fall. And uh, all the other currencies that you can think of right around the world, they're, they're weak. And so, but we've really got a strong dollar right now. And that's, uh, it's the best place to be. And uh, that's why the equities are doing what they're doing too. So hang in there, uh, you know, don't panic sell uh, anything. We sold that Novavax because they didn't keep their promise. They, they That's a bad management uh, decision there, whatever you want to call that. But uh, that's the only reason we sold it, and it was a good sell, it looks like, because we could have been another down, another 50% from there. And we were holding a good bit of it. So that's uh, that actually you know, a comforting move. At least we got out of that and, and put it into some other things. They've gone down, but they haven't gone down nothing like Novavax has gone down. But they've gone down pretty good, too, even to Tesla and Google and, you know, Amazon. So nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide right now. So unless you just put your money in cash. But even with cash, you know, you're losing 8% because of the inflation rate. And uh, But there's just nowhere to hide right now. But this is part of it. This is, These are rough times. You know, it's been good for so many years. And... Uh, Everything looked lovely. Now we've got a little bit of a test here, so hang in there and be strong. Don't panic. And uh, if you've got money and you can put it to work and you've got time, this is the time to do it. This is the time to be uh, buying handfuls if you've got the money. Uh, you can, you know, of course, you can cost average that in weekly or monthly or at the rate it's going, the trend's still down. So, uh, you know, but put that money to work. If you're, especially if you're young, you want to put your money to work and, and keep it, keep it in that market and keep buying because this, this, all this will turn, just buy good stuff, okay? All right, well, talk to you later. We'll get back on here in a couple of weeks probably uh, as, as the market keeps moving around, but uh, I'm not going to keep doing this every week. Uh, we'll just do it every couple of weeks, and I hope you have a great couple of weeks. Hope things turn pretty soon here. All right, hang in there. Talk to you later. Bye.